The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one, the great decimation. The West killed the East, the East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. Interesting. Huh. G'day collaborators and welcome to Right Carrot Observer Underscore. Uh, this is a game that I had recently picked up on the Humble Bundle in the annual uh, subscription thingy. Um, and let's get into it. I have no idea what the, what it's all about. Um, let's go. Good night. Good night. No. Come in, Lazarski. <laughs> How long are you look? If you give me the option to not do something, I'm going to not do that something until something happens. Lazarski, you there? No, I'm dead. Let me go back to sleep. Come in, Lazarski. Don't ever give me the power of. Not doing something. <laughs> it is 10.04. Now I'm going to see if that clock actually goes up. Is it actually 10.04? No, it's not 10.04 and this time. It's not 10.04 a.m. No, I'm not there. Come in, Lazarski. I like it how it's not. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, like the um, the sound isn't coming from there; it's coming from everywhere, sort of thing. I do like this whole Come in, checkerboard aesthetic of like glitchy TV sort of thing. It looks it looks Lizarski. interesting. You there? It looks really interesting, and I also like it how it's not just on everything; it's on where the contrast is. So you can see how the um, the pixelating the pixelating effect isn't on the um, uh, isn't on this blind spot here on this piece of chassis, and it's also not on the window pane really as much. Um, but that's because it's like it's a similar color, uh, and I like that. It's 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 a compression issue that happens in um, like TV and whatnot um, and footage, but. Uh, it's nice to see things like that replicated in video games. Uh, a different game that did that recently was Distance, and it's a really good game that I think you should check out. Um, and I might play it here as well. And it did that whole video crushing effect. I'm going to wait! 
you just don't understand how long I can wait. Oh! Oh! Come in, Lazarski. Time did pass. It is now 10.05. Interesting. I'm not here, shut up. Um, but yeah, it is, it's always, it is always good to see, um, like, in, video artifacts uh, replicated in a, a real-time renderer. Lazarski, you there? It's really cool. I really appreciate things that go like this. Um, so yeah, good job. And it's another minute has Come passed, in, that's good. <laughs> Welcome to my Let's Play session. Um, can I use the ass for anything? Nope. Nope. No. Uh, yeah, I, I Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did just notice that the rain is... Seems 2D. I think. I can't fully know for certain, but I'm pretty sure the rain is 2D. Uh, Mainly because this looks like a plane that's just beside the window. Uh, but I wouldn't exactly know until I can actually move around. Um, but it does look like... No, that's just that's just that interframe uh, compression issue. I was going to say that it does look like there's rain dropping on the, the concrete here, but it does just look like a single plane of, uh, of texture. No, I am not there. You've got the wrong number, okay? Listen. Listen, you can't I'm listen because I haven't picked up, but still, uh, you've got the wrong number. I'm not Lazarski, I'm Skialza. You there? No, Ski, Ski Lazar. I'm Ski Lazar, not Lazarski. Uh, you've got the wrong number. Come in, Lazarski. You've got the Nong Rumba. <laughs> <laughs> Let this be a lesson you there? to all video game developers. Oh. Two video game developers in which games happen to fall into my hands. Don't ever give me the option to do nothing, because I will. <laughs> Just to see what happens. And if nothing happens, because I did nothing, then that's fine with me. I will continue once it reaches 10.10. It seems to be going just a little bit faster than minutes. Uh, how, how long has actually passed at the moment? No. Um, so this timer thing says eight minutes. That's always Come good. In, so I wonder if time actually goes slower. So what I will do is I will wait until it says ten nine, you there? and then I will look at my clock over here, and then I will see if it is actually real time. In, it would be pretty dang cool if it was real time. If that was the case, does it does like the sun come up? Oh, well, I mean, it's already 10 o'clock, and it's, um, it's, it seems pretty dark, but that's because it's raining, so, you know, I played myself sort of thing. Come in, but I wonder if, um, if it goes into PM, would it, you know, you know get, like, pitch black outside, or would Lizarski. it stop raining eventually? Um, of course, I don't want to test that right now, because I do eventually have to do something with this. Okay, so it did just tend to 10 to 10.9, and this thing Come here in, says 9.30, so, um, well, 9, yeah, 9.30. And uh, nine minutes and thirty seconds. That is, and I forgot that I need to run this uh, this timer. So just bear with me for a sec. Uh, Come in, Lazarski. Put this for. Nah, just. Lizarski. There's a you stopwatch. There? No. <laughs> Start. Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, these are actual minutes that are passing in game. That's that's incredible. That is really in, incredible, but also a little bit silly. Mainly silly because you get people like me who, when I'm put in positions Lizarski. of power to be yeah. able to do nothing, I will do nothing. Anyway, so let's actually let's actually do a let's play um, and enter 
this one. Let's go. About yeah. fucking time you woke up. <laughs> you okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. <laughs> Must have dozed off. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. I are. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow, that was convincing. Take your meds, detective. I need you clear headed. <laughs> oh, you played me, game. You played me. <laughs> uh, oh, that's my controller, by the way. Oh, now the video compression has gone away. There you go. Looking better already. Thanks. All right. Yeah. One <laughs> minute mess up. Can you see the headlines? I'm not. No lip sync in the mirror. Don't be like that. It's just. Yeah. yeah. But live motion tracking. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? <laughs> Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. Just just one second. What happened? Just just one second. Um I know this might be a bit of a kick in the pants for the audioly impaired, but I do not like subtitles. In games. <laughs> where, where have you been all this time? Shit, father. Thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years, but it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? I was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit, Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam, can you hear me? You still there, Adam? God damn it. People moved. Dad. Dad. Matriarch. Display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's new. Mm -hmm. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. That's not how Location triangling works! Tenement building. Class C district. Jeez. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit. Oh, it's back to 10.05. I love it.
Hmm. Put my put my controller on my leg so I can still feel vibrations when it happens to <laughs> vibrations. Interesting. Hello, little robot dude. What? Oh, fuck are you? Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, tenant. Yes. I'm um, sort of. Name. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Oh. Apartment 7. Uh, I'll just give you that information. As long as you have a name. Sure. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm. Door open. Okay, it's a strange room. Hold left mouse button and push the door. Oh, it's one of those ones. Okay, I like that. Across the courtyard. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah. So it's, uh, oh, okay. It's a dystopian future where the government and entertainment is in control. Uh, I'm crippling. Okay. Okay. Three. What's that sound? Uh, is this hole in the wall supposed to be there? Well, how else are we supposed to get to these apartments? What? Are you following me? You are. Wow, okay. <laughs> Strob to Sam. S Strob to Sam. Yes, Sam needs to be strobbed. Uh, st sp 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 oh, oh, you uh, build your own VR helmet today. Okay, you could. Okay, all right. So if I look at text, it'll translate it for me because I'm an idiot. <laughs> this is good news. Okay, uh, I'm gonna assume I need to interact with this thing. I'll just open the door. Hello. Hello? What the hell? Press control to crouch. Do, 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 do. They're here. They've come right. Help me. You need to. <sighs> Ooh. Adam? Oh my god. Oh, he's missing his head. Okay, I couldn't see that. Dispatch, this is Nazarski, ID 65621-0. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, then. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. Was... This is Mazarski 65621 setting up a crime scene. Okay. But before we continue with that crime scene, I'm gonna have to say thank you for watching this episode of Observer. Um this seems like it's gonna be an interesting game. 
Like, I just wanted to let you know that I did read nothing about this going in, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. Um, so, so far I am really impressed. I'm still kind of riding off of the high of the fact that she mentioned that she was hailing me for five minutes. Like, thank you for putting that in. You didn't have to, but you did. Bluba, I think, is what the name is. I can't exactly remember, but I didn't catch you on the thing, but it's in the recording, so... Thank you for putting that in. I appreciate that. I always appreciate when game developers enable my nothing. Um, but yes. So, yep, thank you for watching me up until this point. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, this is Quill and I signing out. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, goodbye and good luck.